welcome back to another one of my videos. We've received the 175 piston YC Seco, so we're going to be doing the rebore and I'm going to look at that things how they're going. We've got to check the piston because it looks like it's got a real, real short compression height. Let's have a look. Right, so that's a small end bearing, original one, and then you've got your caps that fit on the end like that. So basically, we're going to be fitting it like this, that goes through, and then the other cap goes in from the other end, and the circlips then go in and hold it in position. So, fairly simple, straightforward. Now these caps, they're actually, I actually make them out of uh, needle roller bearings. So you get a needle roller bearing cage, you cut the one side off, take the needle rollers out, and you end up with an 18mm uh, cap that will step up your 16mm uh, pin. Some people have them machined, but I find that's the easiest way to do it. Just order yourself a uh, needle roller bearing cage that's, uh, that's uh, 18 mil outside diameter and you'll find it's got the needle rollers on the inside and the inside is 16 mil. So it's dead easy, you just uh, trim off the end, drop the needles out and you've got yourself a nice cap for your, uh, for your piston. Right, so now, we need to set up the machine and uh, rebore our barrel. It's going to be our first bit. We've got this old 175 barrel we're going to rebore out and then we're going to redo all the ports. But first of all, it's a rebore and hone. Right, the first thing you've got to do is I've got to take this off and uh, fit this on, which is my holding tool for the barrel for reboring. before we do the honing and sixty two point five just over sixty two point five right so we're gonna hone it out now and it should be about right. Let's get some honing done, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. 
How long have we been here? Right. Check, we've got a uh, feeler gauges ready here. We've got three thousandths of an inch and four thou. So we'll have a little check first with our. Uh, I don't want to slide this in and out too many times because it's going to get damaged. So our three thou that goes in, well, that goes in quite easy. Not too bad, so squeeze. Right, let's check on fourth thou. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Fourth thou we got on that. We'll try in a different area as well. A bit lower down the bore. Yeah, that's about the same. So we're pretty good. All the way down. Can't get it in. Hang on. Yeah. That's good. Right, you just need to feel a nice bit of friction on it as you pull it out. If it's too loose, it's just going to be in and out too easily. And there's no... So you want just that drag on it as it comes out and that's your clearance there so in goes your feeler gauge and you just get that drag on it and that. I mean yeah we've got a broken uh, fin here but as it's the original barrel to the uh, to the bike we've decided to uh, to live with it I'm afraid but never mind you can't have everything, that's the beauty of classics. Sometimes, to keep it a little bit, that it is off the original barrel off the bike, uh, a bit of originality, um, you have to live with a few ugly bits. But that's it. Uh, so in the next video, we'll maybe be doing some porting on it, uh, mapping the porting out and stuff like that. Uh, but as of today, our rebore is done and it's ready to rock. Right, we just offered the piston up onto the uh, onto the engine. It's more of a it's like a dry build. Uh, we have a 27 mil compression height on the piston from the center of the pin to the top of the crown to the edge of the crown there, 27 mil. So that means it's even shorter than normal. So we have to take three mil off the base of the barrel. Therefore putting the compression height back in line with the, with the bottom of the transfer ports and exhaust port. Because we don't want to advance the transfers and exhaust ports too much because we want to maintain good bottom end power. More like an original barrel but with a bit more quality build and piston and more grunt to it so it'll be it's got a 60 mil stroke it's got the gucci yc piston 
absolutely bulletproof and a new rebore so we're now going to do all the ports but first of all to be able to mark all the ports up I need to machine the bottom of the barrel so the bottom of the barrel has got to be machined okay thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe uh, and see the saga of the uh, skidoo piston and how we get on with it 27 mil super short man super short See you later.